Hi, I'm Victoria Silva, and I am the co-creator of the film open, Overworld. The film open is titled Overworld because it is centered around the overruling of the Roe v. Wade case in June of 2022. Roe v. Wade was a landmark decision of the U.S. Supreme Court in which ruled that the Constitution of the United States generally protects a woman's liberty to choose to have an abortion. My partner, Grace Clutie, and I wanted to create a film open in the social drama genre, making this case a good choice as our focus. The overruling of this case caused a massive emotional outbreak across the nation, prompting protests, riots, and strong opinions. Choosing to use this case as the focus of our film provided us the opportunity to represent a social issue that has been around for decades and still continues to be a topic of conversation today. Representing this case not only brings attention to the important topic of abortion rights, but also highlights ideas of women's bodily autonomy as well as feminism. I believe that these are very important topics that deserve a place in cinema, regardless of the audience's opinions. We challenged certain conventions by deciding to use me as the main character. Although Latina representation has become more prominent over the years, there hasn't been a lot of Latina representation regarding this topic specifically. So, acting in this film provided us with a chance to represent women regarding this topic, as well as provided me with a chance to represent Latina women specifically. Our choice of music, social media, and the typical teenage stereotype appeals to and engages with an adolescent and young adult audience. Although not all audiences may agree with the particular standpoint on the case that we chose to represent, our depiction of the typical 21st century teenager helps our targeted audience relate to our main character of the film open in one way or another. Using the social media platform Twitter in our film open also allowed us to connect with the teen and young adult demographic, as the information of the Roe v. Wade overruling was largely spread through it. I would distribute my film through streaming services such as Netflix and YouTube. These streaming platforms have a fairly young as well as incredibly large audience that we had the intention of appealing to. As society becomes more progressive, I believe that these streaming platforms would reach the right audiences, allowing for more attention and feedback from them. Throughout this project, my, my production skills gradually developed. In the beginning, both Grace and I had some trouble concerning our thought process of what we wanted to create. While we really liked our initial idea we had for the film, we later realized it may have been a little far-fetched considering the amount of time that we had to complete this project. Despite the fact that this presented us with several challenges, such as starting our filmmaking process a little later and coming up with a whole new idea in general, once we came up with our new idea, we stuck to it. Having the privilege of working with Grace, who has four years of television production experience, definitely provided a lot of learning opportunities for me. I was very unfamiliar with the process of filming a film open or any sort of media like, like that in general. I've always been very interested in trying to do so, and this project was my chance to create something important to me. Grace was a huge help in learning the filmmaking process as well as the editing process. We integrated several different kinds of technologies. Firstly, we used a Canon XA20 camera to film our film open. Because Grace is in a television production class, we had the privilege and advantage of using better quality cameras and equipment. This allowed us to get the shots we needed as well as to be satisfied with the quality, even before editing. In order to be fully satisfied with the coloring, timing, position, and other elements of our shots, we use the Premiere Pro editing software. As we use this software, Grace was able to show and teach me editing techniques that I had no experience with beforehand, such as color correction and grading. To gather inspiration for our film open, we used YouTube to look up and rewatch some of our favorite film opens. This included Whiplash, which we took inspiration from the very beginning of the opening, and The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which we took inspiration from the voiceover used in the opening. We also used YouTube to include a news report from the day of the Roe v. Wade overruling, 
to gather information for our topic, we used Google as well as the social media platform Twitter, which we featured in our film, as I had previously mentioned. Overall, creating our final project for ACE Media Studies was an experience that I thoroughly enjoyed. I learned many new things and I hope to, that I hope to use on personal projects in the future. Thank you for watching my creative critical reflection.